<laughs> Christmas is here early. All the Amarga Blanks order, which we've been waiting for a while now, has finally arrived. Heaps of new toys. Um, I am very, very excited for this one. I'm gonna get through and unpack it and we'll probably show you a few models as we go. Land based or not land based boat based GT and tuna rods. Um, blue sniper land based 910, 10 foot for casting big lures, stick baits, plugs, that kind of thing. Another gala head coming out. I think the box below is the one I'm excited about. All the brim toys 81 2, that was super popular the first time around. We sold these really quick. Really nice stick bait rod P2, P3. Tell us about this one that you're getting a little bit excited about. This one is a special order for, order for a very good customer of ours. He's been waiting a while and he is very excited. More excited than I am. It's a Lupus 86M, the Monster Cherry. Uh, it's like a stream salmon rod for the East, uh, so European kind of style of fishing, but still very relevant for here. It's an absolute work of art. These things have cork grips, um, titanium guides. Blue current TZ Nanos. These are the six, six, seven, six, ten. There's like six different models we got of these rods, pretty much to cover all bases, all the way up to a nine foot three, which I'm quite excited to see how that feels. Heap of rods there lined up, ready to get unpacked. I'm speechless. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm excited. Again. Alright guys, so I've finished unpacking all of our new toys, the Amaga Blanks behind me here. Um, yeah, I've been really excited, I've been like a kid at Christmas. Uh, there's a lot of really cool new rods in here, so like I said before, we're going to take you through a bunch of them now, give you a quick rundown about what we have, what they're for, all the good bits. So I'll start with this rack behind me here. Uh, on the bit I'm probably most excited about, and it's the Yamaga Blue Current TZ Nano. Um, they're a beautiful range of ultralight tackle rods. We currently have the, the standard Blue Current range, uh, and this is just the real premium edition. The biggest difference here is that the, the, the guides there are a titanium frame guide with a Torzite ring. Uh, it's pretty much as good as money can buy and it just lightens up the entire blank so you feel everything through them they're really really sensitive they recover really quickly there is no weight in them when you come in and pick them up you will not believe how light they are um, it is really really insane there's a heap of different models in here this one i think we've got six models so the one in luke's hand right now is the six foot seven there's a seven one seven three eight three and a nine through i believe um, pretty much cover you from trout to even with this this big guy here this nine foot three those guys that are like throwing like little micro jigs from the rock walls for sort of small snapper up to legal snapper something like that would be epic or even just whiting off the beaches um pretty much it, they cover really all your bases for your light tackle fishing and they all come with that really high end componentry the titanium torzite guides your margas when you pick them up they are so physically very light um, I've been using a 7 foot 11 blue current 3, the standard model, and I've been loving it. Uh, I really can't wait to get my hands on one of these TZ Nanos. Uh, they're just that much better. And who doesn't love no corrosion on your guides um, when you go fishing, don't have to wipe them down as much. This one here, I've actually paired it up as well with the new 23 Arity. That's a 2500. This is the 8 foot 3 flex. Um, to me, that is a match made in heaven. For all the things I want to do from land base to brim, um, it is like just the perfect setup. They have a really light tip but there's plenty of power in the bottom end uh, to stop fish, especially if you're into those really big brim flicking cranker crabs or say micro jigging down the rock walls, that will do the job. Uh, and the Arity just so happens to match the colour scheme perfectly. So if it looks good, feels pretty good, you're going to pick it up more, you want to use it. So that's the TZ Nanos. 
one I'm most excited about, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, next in the line there is this one here, which is uh, sort of a one-off. It's from the early range. This is the early for boats. So early covers uh, rock fishing, sea bass, a bunch of different stuff. And then within the early range, there are particular ones. There's the boat. Uh, rock sea bass as I said before. So that one is the, the boat. It's like a PE 1.5 This to me would be the ultimate like like King George whiting rod. It's um, I believe it's six foot ten. It's like PE 1.5 um, Has a nice regular sort of taper, but with lots of power um, So those big sort of kidney slappers you get when you just want to drop a light pad noster down or even small jigs small plastics um, This would do it really really way well and it weighs Weighs next to nothing. Um, really comfy grips on them as well. Um, EVA foam. Uh, these are, yeah, a fantastic rod. The next one along is the early for rock. So I've got two models in the early for rock. Uh, the one I'm picking out here, I've already got it matched up with a Certate. Um, really, really nice. This is the eight foot six model. It's like a P one to two rod. I think it's roughly like 10 to 40 grams in that ballpark. Um, Balances really well. The thing I like about this is it feels quite finesse. Like it's got a bit of power behind it, but the way it's, it's sort of balanced with that reel, you can really flick. If you want to like cast soft plastics from shore and wanted to give it that rod tip up action, it feels like it would do that really, really well. Um, and it, it gives you that just that pivot point from the wrist. It's it's a really quite a quite a versatile feeling rod, uh, as well as throwing stick baits and, and stuff for Taylor and going up north for Spangos and and Queenies and all that kind of thing. There is a heavier version. This is the 10 foot four. This is like a P1 to 3, 15 to 60 gram kind of cast weight. Very, very light again. Um, run it with that 5K, you could possibly go to a six. Has a nice little foregrip on it, so it's, it's still quite finesse, but it has that little bit of extra area to grab a hold of when you do hook uh, quite a decent fish. Full EVA butt um, to keep it nice and safe if you're out on the rocks. Um, yeah, these are, these are feeling really, really nice for that P3. You think your salmon uh, time when you're down on the beaches down south um, would be really, really good. And then moving along, we're starting to get into some more higher, high-end rods. Uh, these are the Ballistics. So these are another land-based rod. Uh, biggest difference here is these run with the titanium torsites. When you look at these, you, I couldn't believe how thin uh, the actual uh, insert itself is. The torsite rings are so thin, you can hardly see they're in there. Um, nice split butt, very, very light, very responsive, and plenty of power. Um, a lot of these Yamagas, they've got quite sensitive soft tips and then plenty of power in the mid to bottom end. Um, they will be an absolute pleasure to use. So that one there, that was the 9.6 MMH. There's also a slightly longer 10.02 MH. Same sort of components, just a little bit bigger, a little bit more power. Then one which has gotten a little bit of attention, it's a, it's a brand new rod, not just for us, but for Yamaga. And that's the 88 chain. Uh, very unique, eight foot eight. It's like a P1 to two, eight to 40 gram cast weight. Um, runs the titanium guides, has that sort of upturned, I don't know what kind of guide it is, but it's cool, really good for casting. Um, they're really, really light. Uh, again, that sort of softer tip, but plenty of power in the bottom end. Those four or 5,000 size reels, P1.5, P2, P2.5, all that kind of thing, will match this beautifully. The chain, supposedly, ties all their rods together. It's the one that's missing that can do so many different things. Um, you know what it's like, all those cool Japanese stories they tell about their gear. Um, so that is going to be an absolute winner, um, a one-of sort of rod. Moving on to the back side, I'll grab a couple more sticks out. It's one we were missing the first time around. We've got them into the range now, and that's the Blue Sniper Boat Casting. It's the Blackie. It's uh, P6, 8, and 10, 8 foot 1. Um, the Blackie is basically designed as a rod out of the boat where you can put a lot of hurt through the blank. Uh, on their website, I believe it's up to about 60 degrees is the angle they show it bending at. Um, in their sort of diagram. So that's something, you know, when you've got that big GT, that big mackerel, whatever tuna diving under the boat, you can really lean on that fish, put a lot of hurt on it, and not be worried about the traditional high sticking of a rod. Really, really nice soft, light tips for casting and absorbing everything, but there's so much power in that bottom end of the rod. P6, P8, P10, there's one for pretty much everyone, your 14,000, your 18,000, 20,000, whatever you're doing, that top water fishing, 
these are a really, really good blank. And then lastly, guys, we've just got a bit of a restock of a few more rods. Um, I'll pull a couple out, don't mind me behind here. So that's the Blue Sniper land, cut, land base casting, 10 foot medium, it's P3, really popular for guys throwing like a 6,000 or even an 8,000, P3, P4, very popular for people up north, um, light tackle, stick baits, pulling fish over the top of reefs. It's been a really, really good blank. Physically, they're really, really light. It's actually crazy how light they are. 81.2 Blue Sniper. This one probably sold out the quickest the first time around. Um, P2, P3, four, five, six thousand size reels. Um, it's probably the nicest blank, I think, for recovery and just the way it's tapered. Um, they really feel beautiful in the hand when they're loading up. It's quite an even taper. What else have we got behind here? Ah, the 72. Uh, anyone doing inshore snapper fishing around Perth, um, baits, plastics, whatever it is, this is the rod to go for. Um, it's quite a short blank, longer butt, under the arm, flicking plastics off the bottom in 8, 10, 15, 20 metres of water, does it superbly. But also if you want to go north and throw stick baits, or if you want to go onto the reef at a Frio Mew Stones, throw stick baits at Taylor, absolutely can do that as well. And then lastly, just a top up on the Galahads. These things are beautiful bottom fishing slash jigging rods. Um, we've got the six six foot three, oh sorry, six foot two P4 overhead. Um, they have a really light tip on them, but plenty of power down low. And then we've got the same in the spinning rod, same specs. Um, they were probably the two most popular for guys fishing out of Perth and going north as well. And then there's the P5 version. Um, you chuck your 10,000, your 14,000, your 50 pound line on there. You can do a little bit of trolling, a little bit of jigging, a little bit of bottom fishing. It kind of does all that stuff for your, your bigger species, especially as we start heading north. So I think that is a pretty good wrap up of some of the new rods we've got in. Definitely come in store and check them out for yourselves. You really have to feel these rods to understand just how good they are and why people rave about them. We've had a lot of people coming in requesting this sort of gear, this higher end uh, niche gear. There's not a lot of it around, uh, especially in just in Perth in general. So we, we're trying to get as much of it in as we can, uh, as regularly as we can, and um, sort of, yeah, show you guys what is out there in that space. Um, so yeah, come down, check them out. Osborne Park, Beckett, and we both have them. If you can't get in, you can give us a call. We can talk you through it online at tacklewest.com.au. Um, yeah, that's the Yamaga Blanks.